and you and you hi everyone in today's video we are going to be reviewing the perfect beginner eyeliner tool now i don't know about you but i have issues keeping my hand steady when applying eyeliner and the really cool thing about this specific company is it's run by a makeup artist well it's created by a makeup artist called terry bryant now in later on in her career she was diagnosed with uh, parkinson's disease and notice that she started having issues that her everyday clientele had, which was creating a very precise line for eyeliner. I actually have a really hard time applying eyeliner because I have something called benign essential tremors. It really just, my hands, you'll notice, will start to shake uncontrollably. I have a few clips of it that I'll insert here. You guys probably don't notice it. It's so slight that on camera it doesn't always come across, but when you're trying to do something like really precise, my hands don't wanna do it. it my arms start to feel really numb and my hands just start shaking. So I figured this is a perfect tool for me to try out because I don't have a steady hand naturally. I have to work with what I got and there is something really cool about the shape of this tool that we're going to go over which is how I, I as someone who has, who struggles with this, you know, problem, I, I know what they're working on, what, what technology they're working with. So I'm really excited to try this one out with you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. Let's get started. Get their packaging. Doesn't this look like a wand out of Harry Potter? Expecto Patronum. I love this. I think this is the coolest thing. So, I'll show you guys up close and personal. The details on this product is just outstanding. Now the company that I am talking about is called Guide Beauty, and this is the Guide Eyeliner Duo, and it retails for $50. The vertical design of the applicator gives you greater control, the applicator has a place for you to put your pointer finger and the shape allows for you to rest the applicator against your cheekbone to steady your hand. I just watched the videos online explaining how to use this product. So it says to apply the eyeliner to both the top and bottom part. I'm going to try to film this on camera, which might not be the easiest thing. So you place it on your cheekbone now, you must level it up with your eye because, you know, you don't want to be up here or down here. So level it with your eye. Keep your eye open. And there's a reason it has this opening right here so you can see through it and see what you are doing. This lady seriously thought of everything. Terry Bryant, not just this lady. Terry Bryant thought of everything. I don't know if I picked, I must not have picked up enough product, no y'all. Okay, so I feel like when you're applying the classic line, you probably shouldn't put too much on the top because it seems to get up here just a little bit, but I'm gonna apply a little bit more to the underside. So far, this is a really simple tool to use. So the hard part about having stopped and then going, going back in with your eyeliner you have to make sure you put this tool exactly where it was prior or else you will get a little bit of an issue. Okay, now I feel like I've made it way too thick. So there'll be a learning curve with this product, but I'm taking the product off the top. Like, I don't like that. I know it's said to put product on the top, but it seems to just be causing me more problems than good. Just to do a cat eye, you bring it across and then they said to simply flick it up. Oh, that didn't work for me, hang on. Okay, like that. I'm wondering, okay, so now that we're to the cat eye, I'm wondering if that's going to be applied with the top of this. Let's just see. It's all trial and error here, guys. Yeah, okay. So the cat eye is done with the top of the applicator, but the regular line is done with the under part of the applicator. So my advice is when you're doing the classic line with quote unquote classic line on their website, only apply product to the underside. As soon as you go for the wing, that's when you should apply it on top, just so it makes everything less complicated. I'm sure as I get better with this tool, I'll be able to do it their way, but beginner's point of view, this is what I find to be the easiest. Okay, so then they said to bring it back. So now I'm just gonna go in and clean this up a little bit thoughts thus far are that there is a little bit of a learning curve just how to 
use the tool and make sure that you're always putting the tool back in the same spot. But if you put the tool in the same spot and you apply enough product, this is very simple. Now, is this my best winged eyeliner to date? No. But I think as I use this more often, I will start to get better at applying my eyeliner. Okay guys, so now we are going to tight line. So it says to apply the liner to the top of the applicator for top tight lining. I found tight lining the top of my eye a lot easier with this product than with a regular eyeliner for me. Tight lining with a regular pencil is very difficult for me since my hand will shake and my eye will just start closing since the pencil will get just too close to my eye and you know your eyes automatic reaction is to close so that nothing pokes your eye. And now to tight line the bottom. For the bottom you put this for bottom tight lining you put it on the bottom of your applicator. Now this is actually something I can do without the tool so I'll let you know if it makes it any easier. So you have, ooh. So you have to put the tool a little under your, I find it that I have to put it under my cheekbone. Uh-oh, cool. We're getting low, we're getting low. Restarting. When it comes to applying eyeliner on my bottom waterline, I actually found this product to make it more difficult. I couldn't figure out the right place to put the applicator on my cheekbone because you had to put it lower down and I couldn't get the right movement that made it, you know, not just to go straight to, I don't know, it just didn't really work out for me. I find applying just with a regular pencil on my waterline easier. My final thoughts on this product are very straightforward. If you can apply eyeliner, no problem, then you will find this tool to be very annoying and time consuming. However, if you're in a position like me where I have hand tremors or you're just, you know, not great at applying eyeliner, I think after a few uses you'll get the hang of this and it will make applying eyeliner a lot faster of a process for you. I really love this concept. I'm shocked someone else hasn't come out with this already. I mean, maybe they haven't, I just haven't heard about them, but I was really you know, interested in this product and I find it to be super helpful for people like me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow my Instagram at KZElizabeth underscore YT. I feel like I'm about to do my Disney Channel sign out, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>